What's up, everybody? It's Games Played here, and I'm back with episode 5 in our Minecraft Desert Survival series. As always, if you're enjoying the series, please consider liking and subscribing. It's free, it means a lot to me, and you can always unsubscribe later, so it's not really a big deal. But you won't. In the last episode, we ventured into the depths of the mine shaft and got lost for a extremely long time. Yeah, that was a uh, good old time. Uh, we also hunted for some diamonds. We have full diamond gear at least now. Um, and then we made a mob grinder because we put some enchants, like mending for some of them. We had some emeralds anyway. But we were lacking a uh, way to get XP reliably, so we made a mob grinder and yeah. That's going to come in real handy here in just a bit. In the last episode, I said I was going to get a bunch of experience and come down and be ready to enchant. Well, ran into a couple of issues. So yeah, I came down from the mob grinder with like 42 levels of experience. I was all happy. I came and got sugarcane, went and traded for with the one of the villagers for, uh, you know, paper. Got some emeralds and then I actually needed a screenshot so i could uh make the thumbnail for the last video so i went back to the mob grinder still off camera and went up my waterfall a little too far because i don't know if you remember but the uh, upper portion has a leak and has like a tunnel that falls down anyway i wasn't paying attention i went up too high and fell out of the waterfall and i landed on my platform but i died and I got all my gear back, there's no worries there, a lot of it fell all the way to the ground, but I did lose all my experience except for like 7 levels, I could not find where it fell, I don't know if there's like, you only get a percentage back or whatever, but anyway, I re-grinded, you see I have 37 levels of experience here, so yeah, that's awesome. As for this episode, I want to get at least some um, decent enchants on all our gear. Uh, and hopefully mending on it once uh, once they have pretty good enchants. We'll need some more emeralds for that. Um, I'm planning to go back into the nether also and look for a fortress and collect a ton of wood. I'm going to probably make some more Fletcher so I can just trade like a ton of sticks for emeralds. Um, yeah, because that's, that's super awesome and super easy. I wish I had known that. You could do sticks for emeralds in my first playthrough because I had a dark wood forest right by me. That would have been uh, real helpful. But anyway, you live and you learn. But anyway, you see I am going to start enchanting stuff. I got unbreaking three protection three on the body. Uh, not the best, but it's doable. Nothing good for the sword. I'm just going to check all my pieces and see. We got protection four for the legs. That's obviously going to be we, that's perfect. The legs are done. We got unbreaking three protection four. We just need uh, to put mending on them, and that's it. I know thorns is, you know, an option, but it breaks them down quicker, so I'm not really... Uh, I don't need thorns that bad. Anyway, the boots, uh, blast protection, I'm not really worried about. And the helmet just has, I think, protection three. So we'll see. We didn't get lucky and get anything else. Um, the boots on Breaking 3 is definitely good, but we're going to need to go and get some more experience. So, back to the XP tower, folks. What a beautiful view of a uh, desert in every direction. Nothing changes except uh, the elevation a little bit. And then you have our little forest down there, which is uh, pretty cool, actually. But yeah, we're going to get some XP. We're going to go back and get some more enchants and see if we can get lucky. And 10 minutes later, we got the level 33, the sword, we got unbreaking 3, definitely going to take that. And we got sharpness 3 as a bonus. We just need to throw mending on it, and I'll take it for now. The boots, the upstrider, nada, don't want that. Uh, we're in a desert, guys. We're It's not like we're going to come across a bunch of water, so maybe for an ocean only. That would have been uh, pretty sweet. Yeah, not sure what happened, but something probably a creeper, blew a hole in my uh, little villager house here and all of my villagers were wandering around when I came down from my XP farm. So yeah, that was cool. Um, had to wait till nighttime and then make sure they all went back inside and I sealed this thing back up. Um, wait until the next day and now I'm going to get mending for a couple of these pieces of gear that I don't want to lose. So of course we put mending on a few, uh, I think our sword and our pants at this point. 
And we're back at the XP tower. And I'm just kind of AFK in here. And when a bunch of these come down, I'm getting some more levels. So 33 is about as far as I go because then the levels start taking quite a while. And it's quicker to just come back and get from like level 20 something back to level 33 than to go to like level 40. So anyway, let's get some more sugar cane while we're here and get more pages so we can get more emeralds. And I got pretty lucky with the bow. None of my gear had any good enchant, so I went with it. I would kind of forgot about it. Ended up with uh, power four, mending, and I'm breaking three, and I think knockback one also i had infinity but i prefer mending i don't want to have to make another one of these in the future and i can get plenty of arrows from my mob farm so i'm not really worried about them and i have fletchers like i could get like 200 arrows right the second if i needed to so i made an axe because none of my gear had any good enchants and it ended up with unbreaking three and then we got lucky and it got efficiency four on it two and so i threw mending on this sucker because we don't want to lose it and i think it even got uh i think it has fortune two on it also so yeah anyway we we uh we're killing it we're just gonna go collect a ton of wood and get a ton of emeralds we're gonna chop down this whole forest so i spent quite a while chopping wood it was good fun i uh Got, you know, just over three stacks. That's a ton of sticks, and that's about all the wood chopping I can handle in one session. I was kind of working on some other stuff while I was doing it, but it still gets a little tedious just chopping trees down here. But yeah, we're going to head on back, get a bunch of emeralds so that we're set for a little bit. And then I think what we'll do is finish any enchanting we want to do and probably come back here because we're gonna try and find uh, a fortress you might notice a slight increase in the quality here it's a little smoother i started using obs to record my footage before i was using the game bar because obs gave me problems at first uh when i tried using it a few weeks ago but all that's resolved now and now that it is fixed i might switch to a live reaction style with a camera on me and all that good stuff. Uh, it's a lot harder to do that with a game bar. It doesn't really have any of that. It doesn't have advanced functionality is basically it. But yeah, I don't know if I'll start doing that in like one episode or like five episodes. Who knows? But it will be coming sometime soon. So I accidentally made uh, six flashing tables by shift clicking. But anyway, uh, we made two more fletchers who will trade us sticks for emeralds and we're now going to trade all that wood and get a ton of emeralds so anyway we're going to end up around 100 emeralds which is more than i thought we would uh we'll be able to buy mending for pretty much everything we need to uh so i don't know if we'll need emeralds for anything else so i'm not going to go too crazy like on the sugar cane and uh wood farming anymore for right this minute uh, we'll see if we need it for something else. I might have to make a villager for protection for, and that's usually pricey, uh, like 40 or 50 emeralds, because I haven't gotten lucky enough to even get it except on one piece. But we'll see if our enchanting luck changes. So we came back to visit our friends, the zombie piglins. Um, they just kind of wander around. They don't seem to even care I'm here, but anyway... We are looking for a nether fortress, obviously, because we still have not been able to find one. I haven't really done much exploring, but we're going to head over to our warp forest. Uh, it's a lot nicer area to traverse, and maybe I'm thinking we're going to like drop down to like that lower level and go from there to see if we can find anything. So our goal is to make it down there to the second level of the warp forest. But I couldn't really find any obvious way down, so I decided to dig down. Eventually, though, I do see it is way too far to drop, even from the bottom here. So I'm going to start digging towards the wall where uh, I could hopefully get to the wall and, like, dig down and not take damage. But there I accidentally fell, breaking a block. And luckily I did not die. I just took uh, quite a bit of damage. Um, my pick is so good, I actually broke a block that I was standing on. So yeah, that happens. But anyway, I just wandered around right here in the forest and there's nether brick right there and that's a fortress. Um, I don't know if we're like at the very bottom or how we get into it aside from mining, 
but uh, this is a fortress, so this is a win. It was actually, we were mining right on top of this thing the entire time and never knew it. So this is a win. So I started to dig and right away came across that we're right on a hallway. I thought we were like maybe in a pillar. Sometimes like how they have like them super long pillars that go down. But no, this is the fortress right here. So we're going to head inside this thing. I think we'll have a little bit of an easier time in this one just because we have an enchanted bow, which uh, is super handy for the blazes. Anyway, once we got inside, we immediately found the chest. Nothing really good, just some gold. Wither Skeleton tries to ruin our day, but they really can't do too much unless we got a big group. We just gotta watch that wither effect. Sometimes it gets you a little low. Uh, yeah, so they have a serious problem with trees and nether waste and all those areas growing right into this fortress. There was another chest there. I think there was like some diamond horse armor or something. Nothing, nothing really to talk about though. Because I don't think we're going to find a horse in the desert. Uh, this is actually one of the biggest fortresses I have ever been in. It is humongous and uh, this is actually just part of it. And it seems to always keep going. Once you find a path and think it's the last path, then that one leads to like five more. Absolutely humongous. It took me a while to go through this thing. So yeah, I just started wandering through and I find a few more chests. That chest had diamonds in it, so it was actually one of the good ones. And as you see, I just keep going down hallways and hallways and hallways and even come across some blazes. I got excited thinking I found a blaze spawner, but I didn't. I end up finding probably like three or four wandering blazes in this place. And uh, I get four for four on the drop, so that's pretty lucky. And I actually went down there and just now and then realized oh I missed one hallway upstairs and there's like five more downstairs so let's go finish the upstairs first and there's like literally miles of hallway and the only chest back there was one had one single diamond in it yeah it wasn't even wasn't even worth it but anyway we go back down to the lower level and this place is just eaten up with netherrack so we're gonna go through here they have trees growing in to their hallways but uh yeah there's another blaze and i wander around for quite a while but eventually i am gonna locate a blaze spawner but before i could get there of course i was greeted by my friend the wither skeletons and he has like three brothers down there the hallway this is where the bow comes in so handy um found the blaze spawner i'm gonna sit here and camp them out and just take them out you know as they spawn no problem I actually only needed two and I got it on my first two kills, but I'm actually going to hang out here for a bit and get some extra blaze rods. This fortress is pretty out of the way and very, very big. Uh, it'd be a little difficult to find my way back to this exact blaze spawner. So I think I'm going to get maybe like 12 blaze rods and that way I can make some potions back at my uh, house. And I call it a house, but you know, it's a temple anyway. Weather skeletons try and stop me when I'm on my way out. No problem. Take out another blaze. He didn't give me a blaze rod though. Didn't know which way to go honestly, but I figured, well, I'm on I'm one level down for sure. So I just started heading up a level and it turns out that this was uh my forest. I end up like near my chopped trees in just like maybe a minute or so. And right here you can see the power of an efficiency for diamond axe uh the trees are gone in this whole area this is like the area closest to the nether waste which goes to my portal um as you see like every tree in this little area is just gone but yeah anyways i think our goal we hit level 33 so that's actually really good we can try for a few more enchants when we get back I'm actually going to take out these couple Endermen I see just because they're right here. Uh, maybe we'll get lucky and get a pearl. The first one did not drop a pearl, but we got one more right here. Let's see if we get lucky. And yeah, he dropped one, so we got one pearl. I'm not going to sit here and farm these guys right now. They, they hang out in this forest, so I can come back here anytime to farm the pearls. I've uh, been in here for quite a while, so I'm going to head back. I have a lot of experience I don't want to lose. And I have a lot of good gear I don't want to lose. So we're going to head back and do a couple more enchants. 
So we didn't have any good enchants on any of our diamond stuff. So I'm actually going to probably waste it on either my sword or I, I'm, I think I'm actually make a diamond uh, shovel. Can't do words right now. A diamond shovel. That way it only wastes one diamond when I enchant it. And we actually got an efficiency four pickaxe as our second one after I uh, enchanted my sword. So, yeah, that's actually really good. However, however, it also got fortune three. And when I went to put it on my current pickaxe, it told me it costs like 33 levels. I only have 27. So I'm just going to have to wait on it for a minute. We're going to enchant for a little bit more. Hopefully we get something good. But anyways, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Have a nice day.